In this video, I will show you how Stila Migrate converts a FrameMaker file to DITA 1.3. Here is a Migrate training guide in FrameMaker format. It contains different headings, figures, workflow steps, sub-steps, UI controls, notes, tables, bullet lists, and more. Here we see UI controls which are bold. We can identify them by checking words preceding or following them. This is a numbered list which needs to be distinguished from steps. And here is a definition list. Let's see how Migrate will convert this FrameMaker file to DITA. We will upload the file by clicking Upload, then clicking Select Files. Choose the file you would like to upload, specify the importer from the drop-down list, and then click the green Upload button. While uploading a file, Migrate will analyze the content and generate an intermediate XML file storing important metadata such as styles or string properties, as well as statistics for DITA conversion. Once the upload is completed, go back to the Documents dashboard. Now select the file, then accept the credits, and select a rule set. Then click Convert. Here is the Edit Rules button. Migrate allows you to modify the rules that govern the DITA conversion. We will talk about managing a rule set with the Rules Editor shortly. Now Migrate is taking three main inputs. The intermediate XML generated during the file analysis, the rule set, and the DITA 1.3 schema to create a valid DITA output. Here we will look at the input and DITA output side by side. The structure of the DITA map matches the heading structure of the input file. There are five level one topics and some of them contain level two topics. The standard conversion and the refinement workflows are converted to two task topics. In this task topic, the step prepare and execute conversion involves several sub-steps. Here is another task topic. It contains prerequisites, a list of steps, and a step result. The note element was brought outside of the last step as part of the step result. Here is a table with two columns and a bulleted list. Some text in the input table was bold, and the converted data output kept the original styles and formats. UI controls are marked up in the data file. And here is the figure element with the figure title. Above the An Example of a Rule figure, there is a numbered list. Since this list is located inside a concept topic, where steps are not allowed, Migrate will make it a numbered list instead of steps. Here we can see the numbered list in the definition list in XML format. It takes Migrate about two minutes to convert this document, and there is no pre-processing or post-processing needed. Let's see how Migrate makes this conversion work by using the Rules Editor. On the upper left, it shows the original input file imported to Migrate. The bottom left shows the details of rules defined to instruct Migrate how to convert the input. On the right is the set of all rules applied to this FrameMaker document. A rule identifies content units using visual cues and instructs Migrate how to convert the matched content to DITA XML. Once a rule set has been created, it can be used to convert all documents that follow a similar template. Normally, we delete empty data as well as list markers. Then we annotate the map title, topics, figures, lists, steps, notes, UI controls, and other elements. There are five level one topics in this document. If we use the annotation unknown topic, Migrate will select the most suitable topic type based on the context. For instance, if there are some steps in this topic, Migrate will convert it to a task topic. We are using visual cues to explicitly specify that if heading to text ends with workflow, we want it to be a task. We also deleted the numbering of each topic. Then we annotate the figures and their titles and the bullet list. This is a definition list. Each list item is separated by a colon. We consider that the text preceding the separator is the term and the text following the separator is the definition. Here are some level one steps under conversion workflow task topics. Here are some level two sub-steps. Migrate has an annotation that can handle most of the note related text, such as warnings, cautions, notices, tips, etc. UI controls have a string property of bold. We can also identify them by checking words preceding or following them. These are all the rules Migrate needed to convert this FrameMaker file to a set of valid DITA XML files. Stilo Migrate can accurately and quickly convert FrameMaker files with complicated contents to DITA within a few minutes. It can handle a large range of file formats such as MS Word, FrameMaker, RoboHelp, InDesign, Flare, HTML, XML, and many more. 
please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.